Hello. So welcome to a video I'll be where I'll be exposing Buddha Power, which is like um, it's a fake scam company that apparently sells Feng Shui bit bracelets. Yeah, the the title. Yeah, you really should have said yeah. Buddha Power doesn't even make sense considering, um, Feng Shui is um um, it's a uh, it's a ta it's a Taoist practice, not a Buddhist practice. Well, first of all, the definition of pseudoscience is is basically um pseudoscience is a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on the scientific method, which basically means where you believe something that is not based in science. Pseudoscience comes from pseudo and science. Which, by the way, pseudo means, um, one second, etymology. Pseudo means fake. Um, and then you combine that with science, so it's fake science. Mm, mm, pseudo. So, pseudo basically means fake, essentially. So, basically, um, this is a video I'd like to show because, you know, um, it's just gonna. So first of all, I like to point out these are a bunch of um, what's it called? Like check. This is like a checklist that I use for every single video I find about this, and almost all the videos that I find about this have these exact things. So let's see. Instead of being sorry or explaining himself, he would hit me. For the next. I think for those first nine seconds, you probably didn't hear, but here you Two go. years into my marriage, I found out that my husband had a mistress. Whenever I asked him about it, instead of being sorry or explaining himself, he would hit me. First of all, that makes no sense. Like, it's like, it's like, H hello, can you please, um, tell me about what, what's going on? Then proceeds to hit you, like, she, he didn't even say anything is what you're saying. So he didn't say anything before he hit you, it's like... Okay, now I'm gonna hit you. That makes no sense. For the next few months, I did everything I could to save the marriage, but nothing worked. Red flag, why didn't you just leave him on the spot? That would, that would make more sense than just trying to, like, let him be. After about five months, I decided that I could not take it anymore and left him. Did he continue doing this after five months? If he continued doing this after five months and you still cared, why would you even t ask him anything? Because, you know, he... As I had little you. education and no work experience, I had to take up three different jobs to pay for rent and feed myself. You should have gotten education and work experience. Life was tough, but it was better than living with my husband who didn't care. That's an English problem. Didn't care about what? One day... About you? I saw an old man stealing bread and was caught. I genuinely still don't know what the sentence means. Like, you mean the, the man was caught stealing bread or you were caught seeing the man who was stealing bread? I quickly went over to help him pay and even convinced the shop owner to not pursue the matter. This is um, a contradiction. So you said that you, you, you caught a man stealing bread, but then you gave him money to pay for the bread, even though he'd already stolen the bread. I'm pretty sure if you go ahead and, um, like, gr grab bread and then run away with it, you can't, like, go back into the store and say, by the way, here's money. If you can, you can tell me about it, or if you want. Also, I'm pretty sure that the shop owner would still care if something was stolen from him, nonetheless. Although I had barely enough for myself, I decided to also treat the old man to a meal. How are you able to afford the meal if you didn't have enough money to, to buy it? He thanked me and told me that my kindness would one day be rewarded. This is actually another point that I forgot to add. Almost all of them say that your kindness will be rewarded. But yeah. He also told me that he used to be a rich man until he did something really bad. And becoming poor today was his karma. Makes no sense. First of all, why didn't he tell you what he did? Second of all, what do you mean becoming poor today? It's not like doing one thing that isn't good is immediately going to dry, drag you into an incredibly bad situation. 
Walking home that day, I was happy as it felt good to help other people in need. On my way home, I noticed something on the road. Yeah, we're getting to the this part. Spoiler alert. So yeah. It was an odd looking yet beautiful bracelet. So yeah, I noticed in almost all of these ads, they almost always say odd looking bracelet. Like the words odd looking bracelet. I think that would be a pretty good song title. For some unexplainable reason, I decided to try it on. Who uses the word unexplainable? It's inexplicable. And also, how can you not explain the reason why you decided to put on a bracelet? If I saw the bracelet, I'd probably just like walk past it. And besides, by saying for some unexplainable reason, that means that there was a reason, but you just can't explain it. Are you implying they're being forced to hide it or something? As I put on the odd-looking bracelet, a strange electrical sensation shot through my body. So you got electrocuted by this bracelet. I couldn't explain the exact feeling of it, but it felt positive and powerful. You felt good about being electrocuted. Okay, we're gonna be entirely honest. I think what you actually mean when I'm actually what's actually going on is you just got goosebumps. Cause there's genuinely no way for this to happen in in any way. As it also looked good on me, I decided to just wear it and see what happens. That implies that you thought something would happen if you had the bracelet on, like. If I saw a bracelet that looked good, I'd probably be okay, cool, and then I'd get rid of it. Just a few days later, my boss at work saw potential in me and promoted me to be a manager. Isn't your boss the manager? Also, how did this happen just a few days later? Like, seriously. Several months later, I was once again promoted for my good performance, and I am now well- Promoted to what position? Is, I don't think there's a position higher than manager in most companies. Corporate? CEO? I paid enough to buy a nice house in the neighborhood for myself. Keep in mind, she said, nice house. By the way, let me see, um, also, um, one second, I gotta get, a, um, a, um, thumbs up. No, not a thumbs up emoji, a check mark emoji. I use check mark emojis a lot, especially when I'm writing my albums, just so that I make sure I know what songs I've written. So, middle aged woman, something terrible happens. She finds an odd looking bracelet. Actually, no, I'm wrong, wrong thing. It's actually Ariel 11. Alright, yeah. So she finds an odd looking bracelet. That happened. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, so here you go. Right? She never heard, so she put it on, she became rich. Okay, there. Keep in mind, she just said a nice house. That house is clearly not a mansion. I'd probably guess that that house would cost about a few hundred thousand dollars. I paid enough to buy a nice house in the neighborhood for myself. It also felt great when I get back at my ex husband and his mistress. Ahem. <clears throat> when I got back, not when I get back. As I intentionally drive past them in my Ferrari, it has all- How is that gonna get back at them? You're not kill- You're not running them over with the Ferrari. Just making the other person feel bad for a few seconds isn't getting back at them. It's always been my dream to travel, and I was finally able to travel around the world in business class flights and five-star hotel suites. While on a vacation in Hawaii, I lost the odd-looking bracelet accidentally. And things seemed to change after that. I received a call that the company I worked in had to fire me due to cash flow issues. Also, what do you mean cash flow issue? In just one week, I went from living the life of my dreams to a nightmare. No, you didn't. All these misfortunes sank me into a deep state of depression. I began to drink every day and just waste my life away. Cool. Just as all hope seemed to be lost, one of my ex-colleagues called me and told me that she is now doing better than ever. Cool. 
She excitedly told me that she had gotten the bracelet that I had. How did one of your ex-colleagues know that you had the bracelet? And things had gotten better for her ever since. At that moment, remembering about the bracelet that I had lost, I began to have hope again. I thanked her for reminding me about it, told her I lost it, and also asked her how she got it. Why? Why did you have to say that? She recommended me an online store. What online store? This online store? And I quickly bought several of them. Why several of them? While I was browsing online, I learned that the bracelet is actually based on the concept of feng shui. Also, speaking of feng shui, let's look up feng shui. Or feng shu, or feng shui, I don't know. Let's just do some Google Translate for fun. Uh, uh, Google Translate. Translate, okay. Uh, detect language to English. Yes, it's been. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. So, Feng Shui. This is called Feng Shui. Feng Shui, okay. So, Feng Shui. It's a pseudo scientific traditional practice originating from ancient China. I think I already told you this. Pseudoscience. Pseudoscience is basically about um, rejecting the obvious in order to, like, do your thing. I mean, According back up your things. According to Wikipedia, Feng Shui is a pseudoscience originating from China. It's a pseudoscience. You're literally admitting that it's fake right here. It claims to use energy forces to harmonize individuals with their surrounding environment. Hold up. Yeah, you, 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 you took that for you took that verbatim from the Wikipedia page. <laughs> the art of Feng Shui is used to optimize abundance and prosperity of every kind. Wealth, health, relationships, and career success. This is awkward. This is I learned awkward. that many This is awkward. Why are those things were Many famous that? people and companies in the world use Feng Shui too. No. My order arrived in several days and I excitedly put them on. Why did it say several days instead of like a few? It must have been weird to behave that way. But during that time, I was desperate. This is a sentence in the video that there's a served literally no purpose. You're saying that it's weird to be excited over something that you got? Sure enough, through some unexplainable energy forces. But yeah, the reason why they're unexplainable is because they don't exist. I found opportunity in my life again. You didn't. An old friend of mine from school approached me to start a business together, and our business took off in just weeks. Wait a minute. An old friend of yours from school approached you. How did, first of all, how did she know your address in order to, like, approach you? Second of all, how does she still know who you are? And finally, why would she want to start a business with you specifically? This is way too convenient in order to be true. Life was good again for me, and this time, I even found a boyfriend that treated me like a princess. It's not a good way to phrase it, because in my opinion, that's actually not that good of a thing. The bracelet that I had is the Feng Shui Black Obsidian Bracelet. Each bracelet is carefully handmade and had to go through rituals that bless the bracelet with good energy. No. By the way, how do these rituals, like, work? I just really want to know. Like, By combining the lucky Asian beast Pixie Yu with... It, I, don't, it's, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. ...the natural stone black obsidian, it enhances the flow of positive energy greatly, especially in the area of wealth. What is positive energy? What, is this, what does this sentence mean? Seriously. Good energy. No. Positive energy positive energy theorem general relativity no new age i think this is what i'm looking for yeah new age new age music is not good at all i don't like it i don't like it the pig's you element helps to attract while the black obsidian is responsible for the keeping and safeguarding of the energy or of something else i will now teach you how to wear it properly yeah first you need to wear the bracelet on your dominant hand the hand you use to write you why you also need to make sure that the head of the pig's you is outward so as to draw energy from all directions that doesn't explain anything how why does that mean 
before and wearing it, you also need to remember to touch it frequently. This lets it know that you are the master and it should assist you. You definitely could have phrased that a little better. Do not allow others to touch it. If someone else touches it, cleanse it with water. Your hand? Or the bracelet? Also, why? Do not wear it while bathing, as it is incompatible with the dirty things. This is the most ridiculous sentence I've heard in my entire life. What? First of all, wouldn't bathing get rid of the dir dirty things, as you like to say it? Second of all, that means you can literally never wear it, because it's physically impossible to not have any germs on your body at all. Or maybe this is some sentence I- it's making a noise. Besides the points mentioned, all you need to do is to wear it and let it do its magic. What do you mean, besides the points? Besides me, the bracelet has been the saving grace for so many people. Who? One shared how it stopped the illness that has been bothering her since she was a baby. What is the illness? And uh, no, that doesn't work like that. Another finally got the job promotion that he always wanted. Another man told how he overcame depression and regained his self-confidence. Those last two are actually elements of your story, so I don't think I should believe that. I just wish someone had told me about this sooner. Would have told you about this sooner, not had told me about this. I think, maybe. I could have used it to escape from my abusive husband earlier and enjoy the better things in life. What do you mean? So you're saying that you would have left your husband earlier if it were for Feng Shui? Really, that's, um, if it would be, really, um, if, 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 it really would it be because of Feng Shui that you do it earlier, it'd probably be, be, um, if you actually had common sense. By just wearing the bracelet, I correct my imbalances of energy and start to enjoy life when everything just goes my way. No. It can all be achieved by wearing a simple feng shui bracelet, and it can work for you too. It can. You have nothing to lose except all your bad energy, bad luck, and misfortunes. We have everything to lose, especially money. The money that we'll lose by buying this product. Click on the Shop Now button to get yours and experience a more abundant life today. No! Okay, so in all seriousness, this is one of the most ridiculous things I've seen in my entire life. Like, like, Okay. Now, let's see a different video. I found another one. Um, it says, it's this one. A young man who used to live under the bridge now owns 10,000 houses around the world. That it doesn't work like that. And also, why are you using this as your voice? And to help people who are suffering like he did, he's now sharing the one thing that turned his life around. He calls this his most precious sanctuary. It changed everything for us ever since I had it. Fate seems to always be on our side. Fate seems to be on our side? What? It helped me bring my family out of poverty. And most importantly, it helped me help more people like us. Like us? If you happen to know someone who's struggling to bring their family a better life, share them my story. I was born in a poor family. My house was underneath what is a bridge. This? This light in the here. most depressing part of China. When I was young, I worked there at night collecting garbage on the entire village so that I can go to school. Because of extreme poverty, my mom decided to leave my dad and this What? 
That makes no sense. What made my dad very depressed? My dad wouldn't go to work and would sleep all day. Yeah. I had to step in okay. and do something. So I stopped studying so I could work so we could live. I worked as a garbage collector in the morning, car wash cleaner in the afternoon, and parking guard. Car wash cleaner? You mean a car washer? At night, one night on my way home from my job, a group of men robbed me and took all my money. When I arrived, no. Home. I came home to my. I think so far there actually is um there are all of these um that so there's this one and but there is a, this one next one is it a middle aged woman? He's a middle aged man. Father with a cookie. Then I sang him a happy birthday song. That was the moment. W a cookie, one cookie. For me. I swore that day that I will do everything it takes for me to give my family a better life. I went on to work tirelessly day and night, but no matter how much I work. The money I earned was never enough. The more I try- Maybe it's the job that you have that is the thing that causes you to have not money. I, the more life throw problems at me. To be honest, I was so close to giving up. Giving up at what? At life? One morning I was doing my usual- What? One morning I was First doing my- First of all, who is Noel? And who is Master Xi? Usual round of garbage collecting. My last stop was Master Xi's house. So Xi's house. I was emptying Master Xi's garbage bin when I found this wallet. I opened it and I saw so much money in it. It was like more than I've ever earned. Why were you going through his wallet? Like you're, you're probably gonna accidentally steal his credit card. Before I started to tempt myself in keeping the money. That sense makes no sense. I quickly closed the wallet and knocked on the door of Master C's house. I didn't expect that a small little action would spark the turning point in my life. It didn't. I didn't know at the time that Master C was the town's most respected Feng Shui expert. Mm. Master C was impressed by my honest action. In he was impressed by the fact that he was able that. He so he was impressed by the fact that you didn't steal his wallet. The fact that that's the only thing that can impress him is honestly sad. What is wrong with your life? Turn, he gave me a gift. Master C told me, No, you have embodied integrity and truthfulness even at a young age. What counts as a young age? Take this as a gift from a friend. From this day on, the sun will always shine on your life. Great things await you, precious little one. He told it's a really bad way to phrase that. Never to lose this skip, for this will be the source of all the good things that will unfold in your life. Yeah, you you genuinely changed the um. It, you changed the point of view in the middle of it. Like, he told me never to lose his gift because you will. Ver or, I mean, I saw this video. It was it was one two three go and. It, it wasn't a one two three go video. It was a Jarvis Johnson video about it, and there and this a similar thing happened here, and um as in like the change of point of view. And one of the guys I forgot the name. His name said I forgot, so I'm not gonna say it. Um, it, um in the comments, if I find it, I'm gonna say it. yeah. Lose it, and all the negative things will come chasing me again. He told me not to give up hope because three out of five children have to work all their lives so that their family can live but not evidence all children have the kind and honest heart that is why he gave me this precious gift he gave me the feng tree black obsidian wealth bracelet and he told me i was an 80th person who received this bracelet from him and that 80 out of 88 swore to be a living testament of how their life become abundant ever since they have this black obsidian wealth bracelet what? It was a saving grace for so many people. One shared how they stopped an illness that has been killing the whole family. Yeah, this is the exact same one since this last one. Another finally passed a board exam after failing seven times. What, what the board exam managing people really allow you to take the test eight times? Another man told how he overcame. Yeah, this is the exact same story as the last one. I think. Yeah, this is gonna go, um, Zach into what happened last time. Yeah, so Without basically, this is fake, it's a scam, yeah, okay, um, now, 
Just read the comments on it. I mean, there's no evidence that this is real. And it's also no evidence that it isn't real. But it's far more likely to assume that it isn't real. Because this is so ridiculous. So yeah, I fell to my death last year after buying this bracelet. It's pretty good, actually, you know? Yeah. Like it. A young man who lived under the bridge. Yeah, um, this is, I'm pretty sure this is just Anthony Kiedis in disguise. My people, if you want to be rich and lucky, if you want to be rich and lucky, you don't just sit around for the bracelet for do it to do its thing. It's stupid and it's a scam. Yeah, hard work pays off, but soft work that'll give you $30 does not pay off. Some Chinese guy lived under a bridge and then got a bracelet from some master and turned his life around. Amazing that a British guy had that exact same experience. <laughs> Someone should tell the Chinese translators to hire people that can speak English. <laughs> yeah. More more like a scam to me, yeah. I've seen another end with different persons saying the exact same words, yeah. He probably watched Supernatural. Why would someone get 10,000 houses? It's more how, like, seriously. Hard work will let you climb great heights, not this bracelet. Don't waste your money. That's what I like. You already made, uploaded this one. What? I already wore the bracelet for two weeks, but no changes. Please, please out of this. It's because you were stupid. This is a mass-produced scam product. Basically, what this guy's saying is you, you fell for a scam, yeah. No. I I mean Nigeria would be good if I could get one as a gift. No, 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 no. Mine's came on time. Probably little delay because of coronavirus. Waiting, got just got it. Waiting for positive things to happen. Yeah, you're never going to receive it. <laughs> what? Is this a, a th I don't know if this is a joke or not. It probably isn't. Yeah. Probably is, yeah. Do you have scientific support? No. No, you don't. Confirmation bias. Yeah, um, confirmation bias, if I'm not mistaken, is where, um, you only accept evidence as for, um, is where you, in, like, a, a debate or something, you only accept evidence that, um, supports your theory um it's the tendency to search for or interpret favor and recall information that confirms or supports one's prior beliefs or values yeah um basically this sense basically means you don't you don't care if you can be proved so what you mean this means is you're only looking for proof that it does work without ignoring with while ignoring proof that it doesn't work so yeah that's confirmation bias I'll be waiting on pins and needles with anticipation. Okay. Yeah, it is a scam. I don't need science. They have a pseudoscience that is invulnerable to any modern logic. You would have to have faith. It's definitely not like this is a huge coincidence. A few people have outcome others and many have nothing changed. Don't you dare. Don't even you dare. Don't dare. Don't you dare accuse them of faking stories that are fake. They literally said pseudoscience. Yeah. Um, I wrote this comment. Yeah, I wrote the comment. Um. Why does it take two months? <laughs> I think back and around, man. It, yeah, it's, it's just scam. It's just scam. If I lose the bracelet, then once you do do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, work hard. <laughs> my mom bought my family, and it doesn't believe and don't believe it. Yep, I can agree. You smash it into pieces. I think the correct way to wear it. Yep. Do not order from the company or purchase the bracelet. It's fake. Yeah. Update after about three months I received and as you released. Yeah, it's a pretty nice bracelet. Okay, it, it, it won't bring anything. Yeah. Have fun convincing yourself that anything good will happen because of the bracelet. So I had three good things happen to me just today. I have no bracelet. <laughs> I gotta subscribe to this guy. <laughs> Let's do that. 
I just got the bracket. Very happy. It work. It works. Palm twenty three. And the Bible says, "God with comfort and share you." This is the shield. You are dumb thing. Daniel woman, you are dumb thinking. God is helping you through a scam. Grow a brain, dear. I know this bracelet is not a shield. Correct, but what would it be a shield from, even if it were a shield? It's a placebo effect. Yeah, a placebo effect is another thing of the placebo effect, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's where um um you um believe um that a that um a medication that doesn't actually do anything d is helping you. So it's, okay. so it's basically where you take a medication, you you tell yourself that it's going to help you. And then your brain ends up healing itself because you think the medication is. I believe that's how it works. So, yeah. Okay. Another bridge on down is where I drew some blood. It's another one. So this is an unbox. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's a nice looking scam you got there. Yeah, it is a pretty good scam. A lot of global comments. Basically what this guy's saying um is this guy is basically saying this just doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Who else came from that? Probably everyone. This is clearly a scam. I've seen two ads from the same guy. Yeah. What? Looking the most on the post, yeah. The mystical power of sock puppet, sock puppet accounts. Yep. Sock puppetry. The advertisement was an actual scam. This is unbelievable. I can't tell if you're joking or not. It's pretty believable that it's a scam. Yeah. The commercial had a pretty good laugh, especially the part where this guy had to wear a touch of free. <laughs> touch of frequently. This lets it know. Blah blah blah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Rock knows you're touching it and ready to receive positive energy. Yeah. Just plan back and forth, but I know. Just no. Ordered and amazed at their beauty. Okay, there is a reason to buy this bracelet. It's it because they look nice. It's because the bracelet looks nice. We have a bunch of paid actors here. Uh, um. Yeah. Receive my bracelet and love it. Um, one room, room. Put in bedroom. Basically, really, what that means is just don't put it anywhere. You don't own a living room. Why are there people that actually believe this in the comments? Does it actually work? I'm, I can answer this really quickly. Um, no. Wait, does this guy have, a guy have any relation to KTM 343? No. Wait. Well, okay. I realize we haven't really exposed it that much. That's just, okay. B believing this. If you believe this, and it actually works for you, go ahead and believe it. But just let just I'd like to tell you that you are wasting your money if you actually buy this. Now I mean the sellers of this product genuine I honestly think that they genuinely believe that this is true. Because they literally brought up the fact that it's a pseudoscience, but then proceeded to, you know, explain it. Like, no. It's pseudoscience, which means it's fake. And I'd like to say thank you all for watching. See you later.